This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Well, welcome. Welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura, Tom Segura. and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to Your Mom's House. This is a YMH exclusive. YMH exclusive. YMH exclusive. YMH. Breaking news, you guys. This is your public service announcement. The Manscaped engineering team spent 18 months perfecting the greatest ball hair trimmer ever and just released the new and improved Lawnmower 3.0. Get your ding and your balls in your hands and hold on to them because this is important. Their third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to prevent manscaping accidents. Millions of balls are about to be nick free thanks to Manscaped's advanced skin safe technology. We've been talking about Manscaped for a while now. Uh, they have incredible products to trim everything your dick, your balls, your crack, your hole everything important that's below the welt <laughs> that has hair in, around, on it. You need to trim it away so you can stuff it into somebody's face or inside of their other, another hole. <laughs> if you used the lawnmower 2.0, it's an easy transition because it's the same replacement blade with a new and improved skin safe technology. When I tell you this is premium, I mean premium. The battery will last up to 90 minutes so you can take a longer shave, really go down the shaft, up the shaft. You know that space that part where, you're, where the, your balls and your dong, the base of your dong meet, sometimes you pull this and you try to get in there and the hair still grow. No more. No more. Manscaped said, we know where that problem is. Well, that's why we created the 3.0. They upgraded to 7,000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology. I mean, this is like a GT2 RS here, but it's to trim hair. Let's not forget about the changing, oh, excuse me, about the charging stand. You can show your mower off loud and proud because this intelligently designed stand is a rapid charging dock powered by USB. If you are listening to me right now, you're one of the first people to hear about this life-changing product. I want you to experience it firsthand for yourself. Trim that junk of yours. Trim it up. Nobody wants it all hairy, right? You want, you want like a little bit of something clean there, right, Gene? Oh yeah. my gosh. I mean, this is a huge game changer for us and our lives. Yeah. And guess what? You can get 20% off and uh, free shipping with the code mom at manscaped.com. Your balls are going to thank you. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code mom at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping. Go to manscaped.com. Use our code word mom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. <laughs> and we're back. We're back. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Jeans are back. Guess who's back? I missed you so much. I missed you too. I was sitting there. I was down. Uh, I was by the mountain. Hello, this is Captain Marcel. <laughs> yes. My sister went down. I'm going down to the mountain. Oh boy. Um, she's been doing a lot lately. I went down there and I got my <laughs> sister and now I'm back. So it's really good to be back. Um, it's funny. I, I've actually really, really missed, you know, this show. Um, what about me? The show <laughs> is such a special thing to me. Um, you know, I think about the people that are here, Nadav, any Josh, Chris, seeing them again, being near them has brought me a joy, a happiness I haven't felt in a month. So it's great to be back, boys. I missed you, and I love you. And there they are. So who did you the miss guy. the most? I would say it was a combination of Nadav, Eni, Josh, and Chris. Wow. What about? And could you rank the people you've missed? The people that I've missed the most, I would say. Who's the most you missed? Eni and Nadav tied for one. <laughs> huh. Then Chris second josh i was with a good bit so i couldn't miss him as much yeah. but those would be the four primary people i've missed the most in my hiatus mm. yeah okay 
Hey, so it's good to see you again. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. Um, I missed you too. I missed oh, you I missed so you. I'm much. sorry, I forgot that you were here. I missed you I so miss, much. No, I missed you a lot, and I missed uh, hanging out and doing the show. It's so much fun to do with you. It really is. I actually think a good break is good for the show. You know? Like, yeah, it recharges your your it weird does. batteries. There's so many exciting things. Um, well, I found myself re-listening to our. I don't really listen to our show a whole bunch, but just because I missed you and I missed our dynamic on the show and the guys, and I was re-listening yeah. to Robert Paul Champagne and ejaculate on youtube <laughs> i really i really enjoyed it it was yeah <laughs> yeah that was good yeah okay i forget how fun it is yeah i'm gonna come oh now. no <laughs> yeah yeah i'm gonna come uh, yeah yeah i'm gonna yeah. come now yeah, oh. I'm gonna come. and then he goes oh get oh yeah. <laughs> oh get oh yeah i'm gonna <laughs> come now <laughs> yeah Ugh. he's awesome <laughs> Well, this is one of the things. I got to say it on tour every night, and people went bananas. As we're recording this show, it's not in the store, but it will be on the store the moment this show comes out. But if you go to merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura, you'll notice that those of you who ordered Suwu shirts uh, <laughs> were refunded immediately mm. because, well, uh, the police don't think it's good. <laughs> Yes. We, to wear them? Yeah. Um, yeah. But I was very bummed out. And I don't even know if the guys know this. But um, as of midnight tonight, so like I said, it's not even up there as I'm recording, but it will be up there by the time you're listening to this. Merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura. There is a new shirt of a nondescript Asian woman named oh Sue Wu. God. And this way <laughs> you can wear the shirt and not have to worry about any gang repercussions yeah and if anybody gives you a hard time just say it's your realtor or um you know your music teacher that inspired you or something <laughs> uh so those will be in the store and uh everybody's excited about them there's also a uh, new shirt uh, i mean that i says, can't believe we did another iteration of sue will you're yeah. just going doubling down no 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 it's a lady named sue sure no i got it woo there's also uh, Tata there, TikTok. Those oh. uh, are hitting the store at midnight. Oh, that's so exciting. I didn't yep. even know that. Exactly. Oh, my and, gosh. Um, there's uh, the new Cool Mom shirt from oh. uh, it's a, big, a big inspiration from where my mom's at. Let me tell you, it is flying off the shelves. And I designed this shirt with the mom bod in mind. You'll notice it's very, very soft. The neckline, it's a scoop neck because everybody looks better in that. The sleeve cuts at the least fattest yep. part of your arm, and the length is perfect, and it doesn't, it's not tight on your tummy. That's exactly I'm what you need. I'm telling you, I planned this just for No, it's, it's, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's um, great. You're going to love it. We did a, a, a reorder of the Thick Boy Nation shirt from Two Bears, One Cave, <laughs> and um, a lot of people have asked me about the, uh, about the posters that have been at the show's. Every time that there's overstock, they get shipped back to our store. They're all autographed. So there's from different uh, tour runs that I've done. Those are there. And if you were in Austin, a lot of people asked me about there were special shirts made for Austin, special posters. As soon as those get back, they'll be up there. That'll probably be within a week or so. But really excited about Sue Wu and Tata there TikTok. Oh, I'm, I'm really excited about yeah, Tata Yeah, so those will be TikTok. in the store, and we're very excited about it. Um, what else? Uh, there's a lot going on. There's so much to get into. I shot another special. I know. Uh, so we'll get into that in, in Austin. That was a lot of fun. I'll have a, a, a fun recap of that. Europe. I got to tell you all about Europe. We'll, um, we'll bring Josh out for that. A lot going on, but, um, we should probably get our, our show started, right? Mm -hmm. Let's kick it off. Here we go. Hey, you want to play tic-tac-toe in my place, man? Oh, tick, tack, oh. And you put X, X, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's going on? Is Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom, Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house.
<laughs> Is he having a nervous breakdown? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna calm down. Um, well, how, you know what I like about this is that he managed to make tic tac toe sexual. Yeah, so he's like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta X, you gotta, yeah, you, you gotta. Oh, I've never heard somebody go, yeah, you want to play tic tac toe? Yeah, in my face? I know. Like you're like, mm. how did he do that? He also has got like this cool head wrap on, mm -hmm. but the video doesn't end there. Did you think it ended there? Wait, hold on. <laughs> let's, no, I know. There's something else coming well, up. Well, hold on. Let's let's start from the beginning because uh, I, I want to really walk through these. And also, we should tell people. Uh, people after we we showed his famous um, <laughs> what's the title of that video uh, it's five two seven seven one eight four C dash six seven one that one um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna oh my that, life that one oh, get the next day YouTube took his <laughs> countdown that's weird. <laughs> but um, and people were really bummed out he's back on YouTube oh so thank so God you know, he is back and he is on Instagram Oof. And he's uh, hold on. Wish he had some maybe better lighting, but this is still great. I'm still he, happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. He's <laughs> he's dressed like Lovey Howell, right? From Gilligan's Island. Didn't Lovey wear a turban? But who's the guy that wears a turban now? What's the guy, the black guy on America's Got Talent? Oh, Nick Eddie? Cannon. Nick Cannon. Always he's got wear. a Nick Cannon Nick turban Cannon, on. Nick Cannon's been wearing that for a minute. Yeah. And he's like, this is the <laughs> this is what I'm doing. But yeah. he's cute. He can pull it off. He can I pull think it he off. Looks great. It's um. I like the pink one with the rhinestones. Yeah, it's wild. But yeah, he does this. Mm. I don't know. Is this religious stuff? Is he has he? Converted I just remember to there was a story. He no. he. Well, he started doing this. I remember I heard it on the radio one day, and they were like, he's committed to it. I forget the reason though. I don't know. It's got to be religious, right? It's or? not religious. No. No, no, no. Any is this like a, a black guy thing? It is. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, a black guy thing? Is like, that what you said? A turban? Is this, yeah, like is no. this like oh okay. No, it's not. Where a he's black like, This is this is like what real black guys do. It's definitely just a Nick Cannon thing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well. I mean <laughs> Uh thanks, <All> right. Annie. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right. That was good. I don't know. I mean that could be a black guy thing, a cool black guy thing. Could be like do rags that you don't see many white right. guys wearing do rags. It's a cool black. You guy definitely thing. don't see a lot of white guys wearing do rags. No. Uh, um, I hope any starts wearing do rags. I mean, uh, sorry, turbans. He has. No, no, turbans. Oh, turbans. Turban. Yeah. 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 I, <laughs> how much to get any to wear a Nick Cannon turban? He he would wear it. I think he could pull it off. <laughs> how much for you? Yeah, you want me to wear one to a uh, magic castle? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I think you're a magician. Yeah, no problem. They <laughs> I can pull it off. They're like, you're a member, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, anyway, he's wearing the Lovey Howell uh, Nick Cannon turban. He's wearing that, and he goes, you want me to play tic-tac-toe? <laughs> yeah, you want to play tic-tac-toe in my face, man? Oh, tick tac -toe. What do you guys and think he's watching? X. X. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so sexual. he lost an, he lost his own round of Tic Tac Toe. That's right. X X O. Oops. You beat me. Right. <laughs> I it's don't like know. it's like playing tennis by yourself. Do you, you want to write something else on him? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh no. Yeah. You want to put you want to put pig on me, man? Yeah. Pig. Yeah. Let me know, man. Pig. Yeah, pig. Yeah, let me know, guys, man. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm gonna calm down. <laughs> How much trauma do you think happened? That I mean, a lot, but <laughs> uh, you know, there's uh, there's a lot of talk of uh, one friend of ours, Dr. Drew, wants to actually meet up with I him. I know, and I, I can't imagine why. I think it'd be great. I would love for them to meet up. You think? I mean, only if it could be helpful. I mean, dude, what if? RPC sees Drew's body and he's like, um, <laughs> I kind of need you to sit a little closer. That's true. Cause Drew is, Drew's in great jacked, shape. Yeah. yeah. He looks amazing. Yeah. Raining pig on his chest. Oh, get off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus As Christ. they're talking. It sounds Drew's like, <laughs> and it sounds like circus music is playing in the background. There's a, one. yeah, there's probably just some background TV kind Babe, of shit going on. I've never seen somebody do this. You know, you want to play tic tac toe on my face? Yeah. You want to write pig on my chest? You want to see something Oof. real cool that I found? RPC. Um, that you might like. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Good morning, my Instagram <laughs> friends. This is going to be the start of the roughest three days of July, according to the long-range weather forecast that I've seen. <laughs> Thursday being the very worst when it's supposed to get in the low 90s. Today and Friday, it's supposed to be just coming up short of it, but that's bad enough. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, now, this was found on Instagram, which yeah. I'm a little upset because this should be on TikTok. Yeah. If he wants to garner a following, I mean, that's not the right platform for this kind what of What do you think is going on? Will you describe <laughs> to the listeners what's going on? Well, he's a shirtless, a larger gentleman. Mm -hmm. He's got a really hefty second chin that's resting on his chest. You don't even <laughs> see his neck, which is amazing. And he's kind of hairy. Yeah. He's very rotund. He's got thick eyebrows. I don't know what the teeth situation is. Like. Yeah, but he's also, he's got a lot of awareness. <laughs> like, he's talking about what the weather's going to be like. I mean, he's, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, today's the day I'm going to be calling Leonardo's to have one of them Nicole Bacon Cheeseburger Paradise large pizzas delivered to my place. You do not need a large pizza. add some extra toppings. No, you don't. It already comes with onions. Oh, it already <laughs> comes with onions. <laughs> <laughs> What's already comes with onions? Oh, shit. Okay. <sighs> but I'm still going to add to it garlic, anchovies, huh. spinach, and artichokes, and make sure they put a whole wheat crust um, well, you know, that, for the base. Right, that's so going to I get help. my fiber in my diet. Sure. I love this. I live for this stuff. Oh, yeah, me too. I love weird stuff, man. What do you think Fiber going in my on? diet. But what is it? Is this just like, is he is he on the spectrum? Is he artistic? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well. No, he's just, I mean, um, you know, he's actually just kind of in his own world, I think. Like, he, mm -hmm. he's lived the life that he's lived and uh, probably discovered social media, like, a year ago. Yeah. It was like, oh, this is kind of cool to like put something out there and you get a response. Yeah, because and my TikTok feed, that generally it's for shut-ins and people that are generally mar marginalized in society, but now that they found an outlet, yeah. it's like special for them to Well, yeah, it. I think so. I mean, like yeah. this guy is just, he's actually probably pretty content. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I'm serious. I think he enjoys, he enjoys the know? out, I th I'm saying, I think he enjoys the outlet huh. that social media provides because he doesn't think of it the way most of us do. Mm -hmm. For him, this is like, oh, I have friends out there. Like, people are hitting like, <laughs> people are commenting things. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, man, fiber's good for you. You know, like, they're <laughs> just like, go get that pizza, Al, or whatever his name. And then he's just like, oh, this is fun. He doesn't know that, you know. <laughs> that he's being mocked by two dickheads on a podcast. <laughs> no, he definitely doesn't know that right now. <laughs> He'll find out. Yeah. But I mean, like, I, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, I don't want to bully the guy. I just no, feel like. No, of course not. It's an amazing video. Yeah, no, I He's got that listen. Potter shoulder hair. <laughs> you see it over there? I love it, yeah. Yeah. Who does he look like? He looks like a cartoon villain kind of mm. with the, the hair on I like also want to give like a shout penguin. out to my nice neighbors who helped me in, out of a dire dilemma with my injured knee to help me get my groceries into my apartment. <laughs> they always have injuries, the morbidly obese. Yeah. There's always a lot. Like, my knees hurt. Well, yeah, there's a reason your knees hurt. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're carrying a lot yeah, of extra my stuff. My knees are and I can't move my legs you anymore. Get, but at least I got the <laughs> whole wheat crust. So I get my fiber in my diet. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I gotta use a motorized yeah. scooter now. <laughs> it's definitely not I'm gonna good. amputate my legs from diabetes. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Oh, it was this Is that him? <laughs> No. <laughs> gladiator. Oh, yeah. He's a uh, gladiator. This guy. That guy. That guy's not doing well. Yeah, I'm upset this guy's not on TikTok. I feel like I'd follow him. I know uh, a lot about him. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. The fuck is that? So, John Travolta has been doing the social media thing uh -huh. uh, on Instagram. And I... I just love it when like older people don't know how to do older social people. media. Well, he's, yeah. he's, you know. No, I know, I know. And like, it's, I don't know, it's the most unnatural. Can we see the videos? Because he'll be like, hi. Oh, we've played here. some of his. Yeah, I yeah, know, yeah, I yeah. know. It's just getting weirder. There's like the family vacation stuff. 
And his vacations are not like our vacations, you know? Yeah. What's Sandy, that? I thought you were going back to Australia. Here I am in Sydney. I can't find you. I hope you're going to be at the meet and grease in West Palm Beach on the 13th and Tampa on the 14th and, and Jacksonville on the 15th. I can't keep doing this, Sandy. <laughs> Sandy. Oh, it's yeah. so embarrassing. Do you ever feel so embarrassed for somebody? Like, it hurts. Oh, no. Oh, man, I have been searching high and low for Olivia Newton-John. I started at the highest building in the world in Dubai. But I'll tell you, if she doesn't show up tonight, I know where she will show up. At the meet and grease in Florida. West Palm Beach on December 13th. <laughs> oh, in Tampa on the 14th. At Jacksonville meet and greet. On the 15th. Wait, why is he doing meet and greet? It's only Greece? because you need money. Yeah, but doesn't John Travolta have a... I, I don't know. I, thought, I don't know. He has wait, like nine planes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Sell a plane and then you don't have to do these nah. meet and greets. Nah. Oh You're like, my. fuck it. I'll do the meet and greet. Go up, up, up to the vacation stuff with his family. Up, up, further up. No, no. I mean, look at him and he's having a vacation. He's on a yacht. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> but he's got to do the meet and greet in Tampa. The meet and greet thing is so weird. <laughs> I got yeah. down. Keep going. Yeah, I mean, what is this? Now he's riding a camel in Dubai or whatever. Falconry mm. is one of the biggest sports in Dubai. Like, okay. dude. Yeah, no, he's just a weird guy. He's so weird. Of course. But I have, okay, this theory, I've never been disproven on this. Being insanely famous fucks with you. It, yes. It's just, there's no way to navigate through life in a normal, here's why. It is unnatural to become super, super, super famous. Yeah. Like it's just, it's an unnatural, no one's supposed to be world famous. Ugh. Like psychologically, it's just not supposed to happen, right? Right. There's seven billion people in the world. This level of fame happens to like 200 people. And so there's no playbook on how to, like, they're just, you know, I don't, in a way I don't blame them. It's like, you know, look at like the most, extreme example would have been like a michael jackson right like mm. where you remember like at a certain point you're like the fuck is up with this guy like yeah he, he behaved in such crazy way but it also he you know there was a time where he would get off a plane and a hundred thousand people would cry and scream like that's crazy i don't know what that does to you over time well so, i 100 percent being adored that much yeah, is it's, weird it's so weird and for not really who you are but the thing you're doing right and not only that you're so removed from day-to-day -day experiences yes john travolta can't go down to ralph's no and buy you know a pumpkin for halloween mm -hmm. for his kids like that's that is over for you like imagine not even being able to go and yeah, go to Starbucks. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's... It's not cool. And then you lose contact with everyday people and things and then you become so insulated, I think, in your you own weird like, little world. Uh, you get weird. Yeah. Played with a falcon today. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's not Before normal. Like, uh, yeah, I guess there are some uh, benefits to it, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, well, you know, you don't have to fight disease like everybody else. That's so true. You know? That like, is so true. Like Magical Johnson. Magical Johnson... When he got HIV, everybody was like, oh, he'll be dead in a week. Yeah. Because that's like at the time what happened to people. Yeah, because he got it. He was one of the first public cases. And then he uh, he kind of he went backstage with some of the doctors and he was like, I don't <laughs> think you understand. <laughs> I, know. I have a few hundred million dollars. And they were like, <laughs> oh, no, like HIV doesn't kill people. <laughs> but it kills poor people. And he was like, that's what I thought. <laughs> well, because I remember Magical was drinking um these like shakes mm -hmm. that they that were just an astronomical amount of money per shake, and they're like, like these extra the cocktails. protein. It's got like what? bananas, I peanut butter. I don't know. It's got like a, a uranium from Russia. Yeah, and it kept him alive. I'm telling you, these it was some cocktail that he would be taking. I want to know about this shake. It was a cocktail. It was a special. It was called like, the cocktail. Really? And it was very early in um, HIV treatment. And I remember being in the news that it cost. Yeah, I want to say it was 90. It was called a cocktail. Was it 91 that he came? I thought it was. After. And he was taking, a, it was called a cocktail. Fuck. I believe. And that was, yeah. How does he survive 20 years with HIV? It might be there. Well, yeah. do you remember also that a few years it's ago. Crazy. They were like, there's no HIV detected in his, in his blood. That's. I mean, I don't even know. He does. He does not test HIV positive anymore. That's amazing. 
And then, Isn't that wild? It is wild. I don't know how that's possible. This guy was H, and then they're like, not anymore. No, and Cookie never got it either. Now, Cookie has actually um, like an immunity to it. Was they, crazy. As, the, as like studies progressed about HIV, they found that some people have like their own genetic makeup makes them unable to basically get it. That's amazing. And it just so happened that she, like a guy is married to a woman who, named Cookie. I know it's weird. Cookie, Magic and Cookie. But together. who also can't get HIV. She, Thats amazing. You know. They're meant to be together, Tom. I know. Could you That's fucking so cool. imagine? Could you even imagine though your husband bringing home HIV and you're like, "That's okay. We'll just stay together." I mean, Cookie stayed with Magic. She did. They're still together. Yeah. I know. I'd be super pissed. Well, how pissed? <laughs> I don't know, but then again, maybe Cookie's like, it's a few hundred million dollars, I'm not that. Yeah, I mean. But then why don't they divorce? I always am like, yeah, but if you divorce Magic, you get half his stuff, and then you get the kids, and you don't have to deal with this nonsense. She likes him. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think I would like you after you brought home Magic. I'd be like, I'm sorry, Jesus. (laughs) You ever heard of saying, I forgive you? Oh my God, I don't know how I could. How? What do you mean? Babe, that's kind of unforgivable. Why? You're immune. (laughs) That's lucky, though. That's just a coinky dink. What if I weren't? Then I'd be like, here, take my shake. (laughs) Oh, my God. He just got lucky that he defeated this. I know, but I'd be like, look, uh, uh, you can get the treatment, too. (laughs) Why don't we go together? It's a spa day. You know, let's go have some. Let's relax. Babe, you would murder me and the guy that gave it to me. If, if you brought HIV home? Yeah. Mm. Who would die first? The guy who gave it to me or me? Probably the guy. <laughs> yeah, because I would be like, that's so fucked that you... Because the guy almost almost 100% knowingly did it. Yeah. You know? Well, That's char- the thing is, that a lot of times, he, these things can happen unknowingly, which is obviously terrible. But like, if you knowingly do it, that they'll charge you with... Well, they'll charge you with attempted murder. Well, did you um, ever hear that thing that Charlie Sheen, he, he has HIV. Oh, yeah, he's fucking other level. He's crazy. But he said that he told these women that he was having sex with, that he was HIV yeah. positive, and then put them under the care of his doctors. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's like a whole, that's a level of rich and famous delusion. And addiction. He, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's a crack addict. He's like, there's a doctor here at the house. I have <laughs> HIV. <laughs> but... You're not going to get it. He's right here. <laughs> it's so crazy. And then, and then these chicks, too, to be like, I don't know, HIV. <laughs> I know. It's the baddest thing you can get. And then he'd be it's like, not, it's not good. Here's 10 grand. They'd be like, all right. 10 grand yeah. for your life? Yeah, it's crazy. It's pretty gnarly. Well, look, speaking of like super famous, I mean, we've always said that like, you know, it can make you fucking weird, right? Yeah. And we've 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 pointed out a few times that our buddy. Well, I guess it's official. <laughs> it's now on Facebook. It's kind of weird. I really wasn't sure about this at the start. Right. Well, please a friend of mine said something that just made all oh, kinds God. of sense. She said, think of it more as a conversation. I like that. Uh, I mean, it couldn't be more it's weird, so right? so creepy. There's nobody in your personal life who would make an announcement like that. Like, it's, <laughs> it's just a super famous guy yeah. who's trying to be relatable. He's doing the best he can. And, you know... Whatever. I don't know if he's killed anybody, but the thing is, <laughs> he has. The uh, there's a new addition to social oh media who's also very famous and couldn't be more inauthentic and awkward. <laughs> um, and that is Oscar award-winning actor <gasps> Matthew McConaughey. When people come to my page, I want them to see see me. Um, look, this is my first venture into sharing myself and my views with the world uh-huh. and I'm a little bit nervous about it. Oh yeah, are you? Yeah. So to posting um because quite frankly I I'm I'm I like I know I want to have a monologue. I'm not sure I want to have the dialogue. <laughs> um I'm not sure what the inappropriate laugh but was. But I've me. learned that you got to have the dialogue to have the monologue just as you have to have a monologue to have 
the dialogue. So I'm looking what forward to it. What is going on? What's going on? What is happening here? What is happening? I'm looking Tom? forward to it. Uh, is he mentally ill? Sharing who I am with you. I'm looking forward to oh. seeing if, uh, if who I am translates. If what I want to share translates. Translates. If it tickles your funny bone. If it oh. makes you think a second. If it makes your heart swell up a little bit. Oh, my. He's got a if complex. It makes you take a quiet moment for a walk and go, i got to check in with the M and the E. With the M and the E? Hopefully all those things. Let's have some fun with it, though. And let's, let's again, let's keep the high eye, not the low eye. High eye. He is insane. <laughs> I, mean, I think he is mentally ill. I mean, is Matthew think, McConaughey out of his mind? Think of your Rolodex of people you deal with. <laughs> and then are like, yeah, that reminds me of Craig a lot. Like, <laughs> he's no. You're out of your fucking mind, dude. I, I think he's, uh, yeah, he's something's wrong. I don't know if, uh, if I can... Really think of uh, the, t- uh, the time when, uh, you know, I had a monologue. It wasn't a dialogue, but <laughs> I got to keep the dialogue. <laughs> but anyways, you know. And I hope what I say translates. Tickle your funny bone. Check in with the M and the E. The M and the E. The M and the E. I mean, who I even know. thinks this way? This guy is on another planet. Yeah, he's fucking crazy. I gotta check in with him and the E. (laughs) (laughs) This is a level, like like you were saying, of fame and delusion where nobody has said anything remotely negative. Like, you know when um, people are afraid to criticize talent? Like, we've had that happen where you're on a set and you could be doing something so ridiculous that's not working but they're so afraid of just being like, hey, Tom and Christina, this isn't working. Or you may want to change the outfit you're wearing because yeah. it doesn't look good. Right. And when you're that level, people tippy toe around you all oh. the time. Can you imagine him being like, I, I want to do this um, for this scene and being the director being like, I don't know if that really makes no. sense. And then he's like, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it. And they're like, all right. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. an artist. And that's when you really believe this nonsense that I mean, you're an artist. I think Captain Marcel is less crazy than I think you're right. <laughs> Captain Marcel is very talented. Let's keep the high eye, not the low eye. The, and, and, and like all these, I mean, that's not even like a really creative, funny thing. You know, that's something imagine, he says all the imagine time. Imagine taking a walk in like in your day to think about something because you're like, I was I was watching this McConaughey <laughs> post. <laughs> yeah. And uh, really made me think about life, you yeah, know. Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was really. Mm, it tickled my funny bone, <sighs> and then I decided I had to check in. I gotta check in with the M and the E. You know. But then again, I mean, what do we expect from people? <laughs> that part's insane. That's insanity. But what do we expect from people who play make believe for a living? Like, I think too, we're expecting actors to be thoughtful thought-provoking, introspective types, and they're not. Like, they're attractive people yeah. that have a specific skill of pre- playing make-believe, make yeah. playing pretend. That's exactly right. And, and, uh, and they're crazy because of it. They gotta have, they gotta be a little when bit like this. Especially yeah. when they're good at it. He's so good. That's what I'm saying. The yeah. best actors are like, they're professional chameleons. They're actually yeah. like professional con artists. Psychos, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. But then you see like one who seems like, oh no, it's a skill set, but I'm not. That I would say that would be like a Meryl Streep. Oh, like you see her in yeah. an interview and she's just like, oh, you're like a, you seem like a kind of put together lady. Mm-hmm. She's grounded. Lady. Yeah. yeah. And then you get this fucking psycho. Well, <laughs> and don't forget too, a, a very attractive man. Yeah. That is a superpower. Yeah. Like women get hit on constantly we've yeah. had we get sexual attention all the time but when a man gets it yeah, yeah. they don't even know what to do right. with that plus you're talented plus oh. you're rich oh yeah. i mean this guy has got too much power right in the world exactly so he doesn't even know what to do with himself when he's he, not even a person he anymore. asked these guys to film this to imagine like, oh this my is like, god hey man i'm gonna be here and i'm just gonna say like you know i don't know if i'm ready to share and they're just like just fuck yeah Matt had an idea. <sighs> Does he have more posts or is this the first? He has uh, some other like. Um, what else is he doing? I, I got to follow him on the gram. Yeah. I'm afraid. Oh my God. But this made a big splash. Everybody was talking about this video because it was so nutty. He's already got 1.7 million followers. Yeah. 
I mean, he's got wow. some stills. <laughs> and then is that script notes? Is that what we're seeing right there with the glasses? Yeah. That's kind of what it looks like, right? What's this say? Anything? Process. Process. Wow. Process. Could you imagine if we did that with our comedy stuff? Like, here's my, here's my. Well, that's process. the difference. We're not. Like, we're we're not allowed to really. <laughs> well, well you know, no, I'm saying like it's like c comedy. You you can't be that sincere. No. You can have a sincere process, but right. you can't be like this is how I do it. <laughs> because people would be like, "The fuck is wrong with you, man?" Yeah. <sighs> I like. I know I want to have a monologue. I'm not sure I want to have the dialogue. <laughs> 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 The maniacal laughter. Just keep Jeez. the high eye, not the low eye. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. that's so unbelievable. You know what the thing is? What fame does to you? It gives you the delusion that that is uh, significant to say. You know what I mean? Right. So like when He's, you like when yeah. you say keep the high eye, not the low eye, and there's a group of people standing around him laughing and encouraging. Well, right then him. they go like, "Did you hear when uh, Matt said that? That was pretty." Fucking cool, huh? And then we're in reality, like, if you said that, I'd be like, why don't you shut the fuck up with that stupid Yeah, no shit one man. cares. Yeah. Well, some crazy guy on TikTok could say that. And yeah. you like, this guy's out of his fucking Yeah, yeah, mind. keep the high. I'd be like, mm, okay. Yeah. So <clears throat> I got to take a shit. Keep your high up, your asshole. <laughs> Jesus, Tommy. Yeah. Keep it on. But uh, what are you looking at? Uh, oh, no, I'm just making sure. We got the we got that thing coming in. You, you've been CC'd on it. Okay. The thing to to download. Don't worry, it'll it'll be it'll be coming soon. It's just a special treat. For who? Well, it's um I can give you a teaser for it because oh, no. actually oh yeah because we're recording this and it'll come out yeah 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 so I should just say it now. So do you remember like a few months back, Bert made a dance video. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. Well, a lot of people don't know this, mm -hmm. but Tommy made a dance video oh. too. <laughs> I do know this. And uh, <laughs> it's um, it's being sent over at the moment. It's so. very exciting. You've been working on this for a while now. Yeah. Um, when Bert posted his, I remember the caption. It said one word, dash, 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 wow. Mm. And I watched it and I was very critical of it on this show, only for the fact that be because he sucks at dancing. Mm -hmm. And um, I was bothered that people said that it was good when it's terrible. So I made a dance video. <laughs> and I'll just say that the caption, I already have it chosen. What is it? The caption is going to say two words, dash, 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 no mercy. Wow. So it'll be on my YouTube page. Uh, it'll be on my Instagram. It'll be on Twitter. Check it out. It's a. It's an exclusive. It's an exclusive. We're very excited about it, and um, I can't wait to see the finished product. I've yeah, yeah, been it's rehearsing really and good. Can't wait to see it finally. I'm very happy with it. Oh my life! So there's a lot going on. Oh, and also I should just mention to those of you um, uh, who may not know, I've been posting a lot more to my personal YouTube page. So if you go to YouTube, type in Tom Segura. Go to my personal page. I posted a lot of videos from like Sober October, you know, flying a plane, uh, driving a car, the Porsche experience, shooting range. I even did this sweat house thing with Bert. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm just saying that uh, if you're looking for that content, I've been putting it up. I've been paying attention to that page. I looked at the sweat lodge one. It was it's really fun. funny. Yeah. And I heard a rumor that you were talking shit about Leanne and I at the sweat lodge. You know, and I want I watched it hoping to see you guys talk some shit and, and you did guys we? didn't. Oh, I don't remember that. Oh, I thought you did. I was so upset. I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible. But no, I know. Uh I don't remember doing that on there. Okay. Bert talks a lot more shit about me than, than <laughs> I do. About I know, you. I know. Um, yeah. Anyways, McConaughey. Thank you for joining because this yeah. is a real gift. We're really excited to watch you. So also in the time we were gone, um, Emma Watson came out with an announcement and I'm sure you guys have heard this. She said that she's self partnered mm -hmm. um, and not in a relationship. She is self partnered. Yep. <laughs> and it's a bummer because I really like her and I think she's stunning and 
talented, but it's, it's is fame, it man. is it's it ironic? Fame. Do you think she meant it jokey jokes or no. this is a real? Oh, it's earnest. Oh, yeah, man. it's sincere. She's a sweet girl. Seems yeah. like beautiful too. Hermione Ab- Granger, absolutely beautiful woman. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like we pay attention to famous people because they're famous. I mean, this is a stupid fucking thing to say. Uh, it sure is. Nobody, nobody would if you worked at the grocery store and you're like yeah i'm yeah. self-partnered they'd be like you know that um that mentally ill person in the uh, deli i think we might have to let her go <laughs> she says she's yeah. self-partnered well, and she's around sharp stuff all the time yeah. <laughs> so and here's the problem with with what's happening in today's world too is that you can't even call crazy shit crazy yeah, anymore exactly so now they'll say here listen to the, the subtitle here celebrities like emma watson and gwyneth paltrow are reframing traditionally negative relationship statuses and helping remove the stigma here's how to go from single to self-partnered first of all i didn't i wasn't aware it was really a negative thing being exactly single i never took it that way I mean, I know a lot um, of people who like they're thrilled that they're think they're they're single. Yeah. Right? they're always like, yeah, "I'm single. It's great. I'm out there doing what I want." Yeah, okay. yeah, <laughs> fucking Gwyneth yeah. couldn't yeah. be more insane. Yeah, she's um, out of this world. I know. It's like it, there's no stigma attached to being like if, if that means like it, they're trying to suggest that uh, Emma Watson has no choice but to be single. Well, you know, she'd date whoever the fuck she wants course. to date. She's famous, she's great looking, she's wealthy. She's single because she wants to be single or she yeah. hasn't met somebody that's, uh, you know, she's matched up with. So what? Isn't that like fucking half the population? I know, and I think it's cool more now than ever to be single and like hook up and be on the apps and whatnot. Wow, sounds like you're really wanting to get out there. I mean, there. I'm on all of them. No, but isn't it cool now? Like, it's there's a whole culture I, yeah, I think on nobody, hooking up now. Nobody goes like, oh, single, you all right? Yeah, it's not like that anymore. Can we help you out? No, yeah. Yeah. Look, here's what I know about people who are single, because we talk about this all the time. Single people, they don't have to... Happier. Yeah, they don't. They can drop they can uh, what do they're what doing at any want. moment. Yeah, they travel when they want. They have sex whenever they feel like it with whatever <laughs> fucking person they can get a hold of. Yeah. Look at uh, Josh Potter. He's single. I know. The cockroach. He's going to be out here soon. We'll talk about his oh single Oh, my God. I can't life. wait to hear all about Europe and, and your guys doing so stuff. So good. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to bring up, too, is um, when we were apart, Rick Ocasek, the singer of The Cars, yeah. passed away. Yeah. And he and his wife, Paulina Poroskova, if you don't know who she is, she was like a supermodel in the 80s. She's like a perfect looking Smoke Russian woman. Show. Gorgeous. Yeah. And she was with Ugly Rick, who is. And we got to say that at the time, if like if you're younger and you don't recall, this was like a talking point that people would be like, what? Because yeah. you would look at Rick and he was this lanky, not particularly good looking, you know, musician, of course, talented musician. He's, he was with this just stunning like supermodel of the day. One of like the top, you know, 10 of the day. And so it was always like, can you believe that this fucking broad I is know. with this guy? She really loved him. She well, must yeah. really have loved him. It was like when Julia Roberts with, was with Lyle Lovett. Mm-hmm. Remember? People like, flipped out. Oh my out. gosh. But anyway, so he dies at 75 years old. They were together for like 30 years. And they separated three years prior to his death. And he did not leave her a penny. Yeah. And wrote, it's because, quote, she abandoned me. Yeah. I mean, and they had a, they had like a nice divorce or whatever, a separation. They were still in contact with each other. It didn't sound like it was contentious. Look at that. I mean, and and she's still stunning. Like the woman still, that's what she looks like now. Like Paulina doesn't age. Well, I mean, you know, there's a, he was bitter. Yeah. He was better. Are you going to do that to me? I would if I was 72 oh and I was like, God. I'm on my way out. And you're like, mm, got to go. That's uh, I would be like, I... oh, really? Okay. Yeah, we can stay friends. <gasps> Call the lawyer. Make sure she <laughs> fucking doesn't get a dime. <laughs> what it does make you wonder after 30 years together and he is 75. Like, why? Why give up now? Like, is she? But she maybe is like much younger than him. Maybe she's what fifty or something. No, I would. I would be like. I would call. I'd be like, hire professional kidnappers. (laughs) Stop it. 
to to uh, take the kids and make <gasps> her think that they're gone. Oh my god! Send her into a trauma. <laughs> And then like if I left you and said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, well, they'd they'd just be like in veil, but you just wouldn't know. (laughs) They'd just be skiing every day. And then like you're like, I can't find the kids. And I'd be like, you look like you're sad. You're like, I'm all broke. I'd be like, yeah, they're all right. And then you'd be like, what? I go, I just wanted to get you back for leaving me. Do you think there was another man? Maybe that's why he's so like, that's the only time I think men get real. Uh, 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 malicious yeah. and vindictive is when there's somebody else that she's banging. Yeah. There be. must have been some, some new Absolutely dick. there could have been. Yeah. yeah. I mean also she's probably uh, what 15 at least years younger. At maybe, least. Maybe yeah. 20 years younger. So you know he's 72. It's like el- she starts to go I'm 50. Yeah. This is the last kind of stretch Window. of life. Yeah. You know. So yeah maybe she was like I want to go have some fun and he was like cool I'll just hope you die broke. <laughs> yeah well Peace. she had her own money thing i think she did she had to she have some of her own huge money. and they have two sons together and everything but oh maybe gosh. um you know what he could do too because he's probably like oh the kids are gonna hook mom up with money so he'll put his, the money in a trust uh-huh. and make them wait to get the money until too. she's dead yeah, yeah. <laughs> What a dick. That's what I would do. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be like, she'd be like, well, the boys can take care of me. And they're like, we don't have access for another 15 years. And then she's like, oh. And Paulina has to go work and bag and groceries at Trader Joe's. I'd be, I'd be up Joe's. in heaven like. <laughs> yeah. 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 He was malicious. Damn. Yep. After 30 years together. Yeah, I just, him. I don't, I guess I can't see getting that resentful to somebody you had a you know children with and you never know that but that's the thing is you never, never know. know the I real know. stories you know you never well know. like i'm trying to think what you could do you'd have to have a serious affair with some fucking bitch and then yeah i would fucking kill you then i'd stab you i'd take your children definitely what, well, I, what? we don't get violent this is it's too much that's offensive okay is it of course but it's how i feel in my heart I'd be so pissed. I would say if I gave you HIV and yeah. and had other kids with That's not that's what that's a deal breaker. If you had other children <laughs> But there and then I have three other kids. Oh my life. But we're all HIV positive. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'd be like, All right, I get it, you're upset. <laughs> Well, um, Jesus, Tommy, let's uh, let's stop down here. We'll get our uh, our buddy out here. Let's have some fun. Let's recap the magic of the last few months. This episode of your mom's house is also brought to you by Policy Genius. If you're a homeowner, you know how tough it is to find the right home insurance coverage. It's so important, even if your rates have crept up over the years. The idea of replacing your policy can seem exhausting well the insurance experts at policy genius don't think that getting the best home insurance should be complicated that's why they reimagine the entire process super easy you get started you answer a few quick questions the team can get to know you and your property and then policy genius will help you compare your policy against more than 10 insurance companies to make sure you're getting the best home insurance coverage at the best possible price And if there's a better rate out there, they'll do all the heavy lifting to get you switched. If you're already paying the best rate, the Policy Genius team will reshop your policy for you for every year to make sure it stays that way. Are you bundling home and auto? Policy Genius has saved their customers an average of $690 per year on home and auto insurance. And I got to tell you, a huge thing, I'm a big advocate for this for everybody that is especially um, a husband a wife, a parent, of course, life insurance. It's so important. Something can happen to you. And uh, if, if it does, you know, those who you love are covered. So uh, a big thing to look into as well. If you're out there, you don't have life insurance. You have a family. You got to get on it, man. You got to get on it. It's so important. It can protect the ones that you love the most. So whether you need home insurance for a new place or you just want to reshop your current policy, head to policygenius.com today. You can get started on your smartphone right now. Policy Genius, the easy way to compare and buy home 
insurance. We are back so much to go over and we are with joy uh, announcing our guest today is our very own Cucaracha himself, <laughs> the great and very funny Mr. Josh Potter. Oh, that's right. I can't play that because I plugged it into this. <laughs> <laughs> I can kind of hear it. Oh, you could? Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. well, you can just plug it in. Yeah, that's right. I can just go back and I can do it again. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Although I'm not so sure that this theme song, it's buzzing. It is buzzing. Well, you know what? It's um, it, To me, it'll always be the Josh theme song. I know, but he's scoring chicks. Left and right. It's out of control. I, I don't even understand. Left and right. The guy <laughs> is an inspiration <laughs> to... Left and right. The Cucaracha. The Cucaracha is an inspiration to men all over the world now. Um, sex symbol, sex worker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever think this would be like... Not in a million, billion years. What would you... Like, sometimes I go, man, I wish I knew Josh when I was like 17 and oh my lacking God. confidence and being like you know how do i talk to girls and then i see you out there now i'm like this guy's a fucking professional uh it's been wild i'll say that i i mean i thought about this last night like uh and i appreciate this you're like my father my brother my best friend you spent thousands of dollars literally to get me laid essentially Jeez. Mm -hmm. i can't wait till your funeral when i can talk to your grandchildren <laughs> yeah and I can be no, like thanks your father was such a great man. Thank you. <laughs> he paid thousands of dollars <laughs> for me to have sex, and I'm going to repay it to you, all of you, all of your grandchildren. <laughs> That'd be a beautiful eulogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, it yeah. would be nice if like people up were up there and kiss your face, and then I say <laughs> he was so great. <laughs> <laughs> when people tell come. all these heartwarming stories, and then Josh walks up and he goes. I wasn't fucking anybody. <laughs> and then and people were like, what? This guy yeah. right here. Your great legacy, Tom. Yeah. yeah. He's getting Josh laid. Well, first we should say this. Uh, Josh and I embarked on a European tour together, oh. which was so fun. We went to Budapest, Berlin, Amsterdam, Antwerp, Paris, London, Manchester, Dublin. That's crazy. All uh, in like 10 days too, yeah. right? Yeah. Bunch of shows we were on planes and trains and automobiles and i gotta say i'll i can say it now i was actually like man i don't want to get on this f first flight like to go over the whole thing seems like it's gonna be a drag i don't know i mean who's gonna be in the crowd are these audiences even gonna get what we're doing like it's just kind of i was like oh boy and the shows ended up being like some of the most fun shows of my entire tour. Really? Um, I will say that one of the most uh, terrifying, horrible things that ever happened to me <laughs> was that I got violently ill yeah. for show one. Yeah. And I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, really, really <laughs> sick. Well, let's back it up because our kid got it. Ellis yes. got stomach. He woke up with a stomach bug one night. And then two days later, Julian, the baby, gets sick. Right. I get sick but, a few hours later, but on meanwhile, you're flying across the world. And I'm fine. And you're fine. I'm fine. So I'm like, I, <laughs> I escaped. You're they, out in time. I go, I escaped. I'm fine. <laughs> we land in Budapest. We go out to dinner. I'm fine. <laughs> That's where I didn't become fine. Yeah, well, we went and we. I was like, you got to have paprikash. So we go oh. to this place. <laughs> we get a very rich paprikash, but it's excellent. I mean, it was, yeah, it was, it was unbelievable. And... And then the next day, I'm like, oh, I have some pretty intense diarrhea. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. he's like, oh, yeah, me too. I'm like, well, it's dinner. You know, yeah, we, yeah. We had Plus, a in Hungary, every time I go, I get diarrhea too. It's very Any new heavy. Yeah. Well, it's culture international too. road ass. Yeah, it's yeah. international road yeah. ass. It's also new bacteria introduced to your yes. system. It's not unusual, right? So that part, I'm like, not, not a big deal. As the day is progressing, because this is, you know, obviously we have a huge time change. <laughs> I'm like, man, I am really like the diarrhea keeps <laughs> building up and pouring out. Of it. It's yeah. not like, oh, that was a rich meal. It's starting to feel like sick diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a different kind of, I had it too, the stomach virus. It's sign. different. It's like a hose of caca just coming out and it doesn't even hurt. It's and not like 
food diary. A lot of times rich food will give you a one-off where you're like, whoa, that yeah, was crazy. <laughs> and then your body's like, you had to get that out. This is like, it's wave number three, wave number four. <laughs> and at this point, I, I, I remember that I hadn't really eaten in like, I don't know, let's say eight hours. And I was like, well, I got a show coming. I should eat something. So I ordered food to the room. And I remember I took a bite, like just one bite. And I was like, mm, I don't want to eat anymore. Mm. It's like, you're, you know, it doesn't taste bad. I just, I didn't want it. And I was like, that's weird. Mm-mm. Then I'm sitting there and I'm like, well, I, I just don't feel right. And then it's like, all right, the car is going to pick us up oh, in 10 God. minutes. <laughs> and as I, I feel like, oh man, oh, <sighs> here it is. And I, I, instinctively I'm, I'm ready to go downstairs i take my shirt off because i know i'm gonna throw up yeah you prepare and I, and I yourself i don't want to get any back so and i go into the bathroom and i puke fucking <laughs> intensely like <laughs> then i call my my driver and uh oh. he's like i tell him i'm like i'm throwing up he's like okay i'll tell them so <laughs> he sets it up i go down, now of course the last thing you feel like doing after throwing uh, up is yeah, doing a show of course i had to cancel mine that night because i was puking we go oh yeah we I go cancel the ice house we go over to the venue and they're all like it's so great to have you here and i'm like yeah it's great to be here yeah. um and <laughs> Leave like, me alone. <laughs> we heard you're not doing well i'm like i'm not just like not doing well i'm actively vomiting <laughs> so <laughs> i get it we're you know then we have like 30 minutes till show time i'm shitting i'm shitting Josh goes up there. Oh my God. He's on stage. I'm I'm like waiting in the wings and I go, I look at the, the guy, I go, I gotta throw up again. Oh my God. So I have to run back to the green room. Huge, huge. What vomit. are you puking though? Because you hadn't eaten. Uh, the fluids that I was like replenishing with. Oh wow. Because I started to like drink water and then have a sip of Coke. You know, you're like trying to like settle. Trying, yeah. All of it comes. And then like, and then dude, that, that time then I'm like, well now I feel like, like wiped like no energy and they're like he's about to wrap up oh like, my god <laughs> and i go up there and i did uh i think i did just 60. you know i told them i go look i might do 45 i don't know what i'm gonna do but the crowd was amazing yeah and good. i thought that on this run it would be my imagination was it'll be all expats it'll be like you know whatever americans are in the area it was like 95% locals. Really? Yeah. They just spoke English well enough to understand. That's totally. amazing. Yeah. I mean, the level of people's English fluency abroad is astonishing. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, you know, Berlin, first of all, is completely bilingual. Yeah. Uh, Budapest, you run into, most people have some proficiency, some completely fluent. Uh, Antwerp, same thing. Everybody was fluent English speaking. Mm-hmm. Um, Paris, they speak English, but they'll let you know if they do. <laughs> or they'll be yeah. like, yeah, I speak it, but I'm not going to. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. very snobby about yeah. that. And Which I, I've try. learned to respect, actually. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's I, like, the French are assholes. I'm like, that's kind of why I dig them. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, we both fell in love. I was like, I yeah. want to move to Paris. Yeah, because yeah. their culture's awesome. It's they have great. every right to protect it. It's really good. It's great. It's great. I First of all, I love the city. I love the layout. I love the attitude. I love people that don't want to talk to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. It was great. It's a perfect match. <laughs> no. I was like, please, Tom, learn. I started down. I downloaded uh, French lessons. Yeah, <laughs> city of assholes. Il homme like mange. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I eat. Uh, the, the man eats. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Les femmes bois. Now you. S- <laughs> the lady drinks. Hey. You were she saying sure that <laughs> you you opened some you opened up with gypsy jokes in my Holy native land. Shit! So I have <laughs> I just shot a special on on <laughs> Saturday, and uh, I have a, a a chunk about getting in trouble for saying gypsy one time <laughs> on television, and so it, the whole well the whole way is uh, from my international experience. <laughs> what I realize is it's very easy to go to overthink and be like. Oh, should I do this? Should I do that? And what I told Josh, I was like, just go up there and do it and then make adjustments if you need to, but don't try to overthink it, you know? So that's right. what, that's what we did. We just do, do the act, do what you normally do if you're doing stand up. <laughs> so this, the first, the first show was in Budapest. Everything's working fine. There's like one thing that like, I'm like, oh, that doesn't land as well. And then you start to think about it. When I get to that gypsy joke, 
<laughs> and I threw on a little extra hot sauce on it <laughs> because I uh, uh, I know how to say tzigains. And then and I knew how to say my uh, family. Uh, roja tzigains. Standing. They were just like. <laughs> it was like yeah. Churchill just gave a speech. <laughs> <Yeah. It was. laughs> Uh, they were like, this is a problem here. <laughs> yeah. When I told the, uh, our driver was like 23. Yeah. And the really young, uh, funny, funny kid, very professional. So I was telling him, you know, I get in the car and of course he's speaking English to us. And then I'm like, yeah, Iga, Iga. He's like, you know, the Hungarian words. And I was like, I'm trying to tell him the, the ones that I know. And then I get to, I go, I know a tziga. And he was like, yeah. And I go, I know a roja tziga. He's like, whoa. He's like, you have to be careful. You say that over there, they'll kill you. Yeah. For those listening, it's rotten, yeah. rotten gypsy. Rot, so rotten a tziga gypsies. is a gypsy, but roja is like rotten. But he was like, they will kill you. They will kill and you. And then it's I go. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then I go, uh, I go. Are you serious? He was like gypsy. He was like, oh yeah. He goes, they, he goes the eighth district, whatever part yeah. of town. He was like, big problem. I go, what about the <laughs> Jews? And he was like, no, Jews are fine. <laughs> well, you told your uh, you told your gypsy stuff in Berlin, and they, those people looked around like this sounds familiar. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not as many the high fives. Gypsy joke there. Yeah, they were. We like, heard this uh, before. <laughs> Then he went Carter. He was like, yeah. and they smell, <laughs> and they lower property <laughs> values. <laughs> but don't you find, because like I, every time I go to Hungary, and then like I go further west, it just gets more and more civilized. Is that what I'm saying? Is that the word, or just more conscientious and like? Well, they've seen some shit over there. Uh, yeah, too. Uh, yeah, it was Berlin was like a weird. I uh, love Berlin. It was so awesome. It's it my was favorite. So pro- like wildly progressive and like yeah. they have like the wall still there. It's like a yeah. reminder and all this stuff. Berlin is fucking it's, rad. I've never been. I fucking I really and like cool art everywhere. Right, like the artists kind of. I go told on him side. like this is like like sometimes on this trip you go oh I want to stay here for a week. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because we would be we would be in some places twenty four hours. <laughs> Yeah. But I was like, I Berlin. I want to stay here for a week. Like this is a town. Oh, I wanna, I wanna we got to go here. back. Wanna, yeah. Wait, but hold on. Before we move into the other parts of Europe, I don't know if you're going to use this joke in your special that you told about this in Hungary. How how? They oh no! Don't give a rip. <laughs> no, but yeah. that. Yeah. Did you say the line? I just want yeah. you to say yeah. it. It's such a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So I was. Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> when I was touring, I would obviously like open with talking about, um, you know, the cities we've been to. And so like you're moving <laughs> along and you're like, you're saying this about, you know, hey, the Parisians were like this and the Amsterdam was like that. And then I would be like, but this all started in Budapest. <laughs> and I was like, man, they're kind of wild. <laughs> I go, as soon as you get there, they're like, do you want to throw a rock at the gay? <laughs> and, uh, all of Europe was like, yeah, <laughs> they were all like, we know that's how they are. <laughs> totally. I actually put that uh, on my uh, on my personal YouTube page, the, a little bit of the oh, set. Oh, good. People should I, watch that it. That I shot in, in uh, Manchester because, yeah. It is so funny. Like they, um, Which, by the way, if, for people that don't follow the news, you know, Coca-Cola did a <laughs> just pro, not even like overtly pro, just gays are people in their ad <laughs> and uh hungry was like you we're going nope. to fine you <laughs> <laughs> they don't want it yeah. they oh. don't want it and the president yeah. or the prime minister of hungary banned this the putting of funds towards studying non-binary yeah and gender studies <laughs> yeah. he's like we don't need to know this shit this is yeah. not yeah. this is not for us yeah they don't not want for it us. oh it's and wild. also yeah. they have literal uh border walls in Hungary, where they're like, actually, no one's welcome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, yeah. Stop trying to come here. We don't <laughs> want you. <laughs> well, uh, the way my dad explained it is like, they're. It's not that they actively don't like other people. It's yeah. that they like to maintain their culture. They yeah. don't want. Well, that's how they would outside. describe it. Yeah. Uh, I know. Elsewhere Believe in parts me. of the country, too. It's right. a spin. Yeah. It's a spin. <laughs> it's a, yeah. But they don't want it. It sounds man. familiar. Yeah, it sounds familiar. So, okay. So, Berlin was your second stop. Yeah. Awesome. A lot of history they glossed over in some of the like, things like that we uh, looked at. It. Yeah. I was like, where's this stuff? Yeah. They're you like, know? what stuff? Oh, yeah. yeah. Every, like, we, um, we, we got were like walking around like children snickering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were looking for the 
the we found the Gestapo headquarters. Remember? Yeah, yeah that's and, fun. Uh, we're like, Did you go oh, to Hitler's yeah. bunker? Well, no, no, I fucking didn't realize it till we. Le- I said it to him in the train station. I go, Hitler killed himself eight miles or like a mile from where we were, and I was pissed. Eight yeah. minute yeah. walk. You could have yeah. seen your fear's place, your hero's well, place. I just wanted like someone to give us like a cool story, and everybody yeah. was like. Hey, they were selling old hats and stuff like that. I'm like, hey, oh yeah, the, that was the, like patches and shit. We right? were like, because uh, <laughs> they had um, they had a bunch of like uh, you know, like the Russian hat mm-hmm. and then like the Ushankas from like East and West Berlin. And we were like, I bet one of these stores you can go to and be like, where's the good stuff? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, take me downstairs. I've got <laughs> you. We kind of hit their part. Like, I got cash, and they're like. All right, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, crosses, maybe other symbols. <laughs> Where do you keep that stuff? <laughs> and they're like, "Let me see it. Let me see the cash." Yeah, right. They here. really they're are like, oh. ashamed of that heritage. They well, don't yeah. want to oh, talk yeah. about yeah, of it. Of course yeah. they are. It didn't go so well. It didn't go over <laughs> nicely. I uh, I mentioned his name in my act, and I th- I was thought I was going to get arrested afterwards. I was they nervous. Act- they're not actually. Aren't you not allowed to dress up as Hitler in Germany? Germany, it's banned. You're you can't get arrested. You, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't try that yet. But you uh, actually can get. There's laws there about saying, you know, expressing views that yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. They have a lot of things yeah. in place to. Yeah. To not slip up again. I made it out. So. <laughs> <laughs> remember when we tripped up? Yeah. In the 30s, that uh, whole couple of years there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was so awesome. Berlin, and did you were you able to eat by that point? Like, did you get your appetite back? Did not you eat really. anything good? That was not good. No, no, no. Uh, wait, yet. did you get the stomach flu too? No, I was fine. He I, just I, had, I just like, had a, like massive road ass, road international ass. road ass. Yeah. You know, nine time zone different. <laughs> yeah, road yeah, ass. Yeah, by yeah. the time we got to Amsterdam, we were feeling better, and I just could not. We had less than twenty four hours there, but enough time to take a walk and like. You know, obviously, when you're a kid, all you hear about is like weed. Remember when weed yeah. was like, but like what happens as an adult, you walk around, you're like, Jesus, <laughs> this city is stunning. Like, yeah, it's it is gorgeous, beautiful. Yeah. Never seen, never gone on a walk like that before. In, where I was in like, Amsterdam. Yes. Oh, it's stunning. I just was like, this is the most beautiful city I've taken a walk in. Doesn't it make you really resent how ugly America is? <laughs> well, you th- I, <laughs> we are like, look at this f- strip mall, strip mall, oh, strip yeah, mall. Yeah. It's dog I shit. I really had like wild realization of how much homeless people we have in Los oh, Angeles. Yeah. While that's I was over a there. real I'm like, thing. They don't have them here. There's just like yeah. a guy named Larry smoking by the train. Like yeah. that's about it. Yeah. But what was your joke? What we do with the homeless? Yeah. Uh, in, in Amsterdam. Oh, yeah. We, <laughs> we push them into the canals as they sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. that's so true. And yeah. you see those big old bitches on yeah. their bicycles. Oh, by the way, they're this is, big. There was a post of me that now became like a meme in our world <laughs> of uh, smiling by a canal. And uh, <laughs> people were like, I've never seen you smile like this. <laughs> um, and the reason was because I was doing it. So, I mean, it was going to be like a normal, like, mm, selfie. And then Josh was like, you know, you could drown somebody in that canal. <laughs> and, was, and, then and, I, uh, and then I catch like a smile of myself. I was like, I've never seen myself smile. No, that I didn't know he was taking a picture. And yeah. I was just like, yeah, you could definitely throw someone over, <laughs> over this thing. Over it. <laughs> yeah. So Amsterdam is where hookers are and stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I, almost ju- of... I almost jumped onto the next city. Oh, and I yeah. forgot yeah. the... Uh, How could you forget? Dying to hear. Everybody's dying to hear because we got word you sent a video over well, and we yeah. played it on YMH. So and I should say know. that, like, that's what I love about it. Josh is so just game all the time for, like, you want to do, like, anything that's, like, fun, crazy. Josh is like, yeah. So I throw it out there, like, you know, we're like, we're on this Make Josh Come tour. And... <laughs> Have you officially titled it that? I have. I've called my t-shirt. dates that. Yeah. His dates yeah. are, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've had I mean, to put MJC on some of these club websites because they're a little... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little... But I'm also... I'm a little bummed that we're like, we're moving city to city. And I'm like, ah, we don't even have time for you to meet people, you know? Yeah. And then we're like, we're in Amsterdam. I'm like, oh, I go, would you get like a... Would you get a hooker and see if she can make you come? And he was like, yeah. So... No, I'm no, like, no. He said... Can I buy you a yeah, hooker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, duh. Well, and how much are they now? Dude? Well, What's that's an important, yeah. yeah. this is a very oh, oh, important sorry, detail. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> I also feel like it's going to be fun to see like, you know, there's a, the famous red light district, if you don't know, in Amsterdam. And you had this, never been, right? I've never been. And it's legalized prostitution. 
you know, not a big deal. It's like seen as probably how it should be, like where it's yeah. regulated, people are area. tested, and it's like, mm -hmm. do you want to do that here? And everything is, you know, not s like seedy in the streets, and then people are getting arrested, and like it just, it seems like a, a much better system. Mm -hmm. Regardless, uh, I make that offer to you. You say, uh, sure. We, we have two shows in Amsterdam. So now it's late after the second show, and I'm like, all right, let's go to the red light district. We happen to get into a cab, and I'm like, take us to the red light district. And the guy's like, for what? <laughs> and I was like, what do you think? Like, to s for the girls. And uh, he's like, you want to uh, go to the, like, I guess just to look. I was like, well, my friend's going to probably pick one. Mm -hmm. He's like, ugh. Well, <laughs> oh if you want, God. he's like, you, you wouldn't want to go to a nicer place? And yeah. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, well, red light district, these girls are there 10, 15 years. They're worn out. You know, they're like Jesus. Basically, like if you want to see Spider Man in America, you go to Universal Studios. You don't go to Hollywood <laughs> Boulevard. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Yeah. But the benefit of the red light district, we were thinking, is that because they're lined up and they're in these separate booths or mm -hmm. well, like little boxes, shoebox type things. Yeah. And that. Like if one girl doesn't make you come, we can just go down the line and then you could go to the next one and the next one. And we would force you to fuck till eventually you come. Yeah, yeah. ejaculate. Well, we could have done that as well. Yes. To well, explain why. Mm. Well, then. So I'm like, well, what do you what do you mean? Like, I, like in my mind, I'm like, that's where it is. The yeah. red light district. Like, that's where we, we go. don't know right? any better. Yeah, I don't know any better. He's like, no, nah, man. He's like, if you want something, I, I'll take you to a sex club. And I'm like, what? He's like, this is like a nicer place. Way better, girl. This is where the young bitches are. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he you said. said young bitches. Yeah, I was like, bitches. let's go there. Yeah. I was like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, you know, it costs more, but it's worth it. And I'm like, everything in life's like that, right? Yes. You pay, you, you get what you pay for. So he pulls up to basically just a nondescript house. And, really? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then. And is it in like a, like a, in a residential, in a residential neighborhood? Yeah. You're kidding. And it, um, is it legal or is it an illegal operation? Don't know. We don't know. We don't but ask this those guy questions. comes out mm. um, and meets us like kind of on the drop. Like we're, the guy drops off on the street. We're walking up the like the pathway to the front door. And the guy comes out. And it's, it's a very uh, straightforward, um, normal kind of. He goes, okay. He goes, hey, how you guys doing? Introduces himself, shakes our hand. He just want you to know. And he goes, this is a sex club. People come here to have sex. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> he goes, so uh, you pay an entry fee and then you're going to sit in this lounge area and there's a, there's a bar and um, we can have, you can have drinks and there will be women seated at the bar and around. They are not allowed to approach you. So in other words, oh. they can't try to sell to you. You tell me who you find attractive and then I'll bring her over. And then you can have a little conversation with her. And if you want, then you can go up to your room and have sex with her. And I'm like, okay, of course. Not if you want. Right. You will go upstairs. Yeah, and yeah, have yeah. Sex yeah. With her. Like, so nice. you have to. Do now, it. immediately, there's two things going on. I'm such like a fucking child at this point. I'm like, <laughs> I go, first of all, I'm not going to be having sex. <laughs> Aww, and, uh, sure. and he was he, a brave little soldier. Yeah. And I was like, that's just for my friend. And he was like, why don't you just see what we got? I was like, no, 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 no. I don't mean it like, like that. I'm saying like, I'm not, I'm just here. I go, I'm paying though. So like, you're, don't worry. You're getting something out of me. I'll pay. Yeah. But, but I'm not going to be doing that. And he's like, sure. So <laughs> you come in and have, and I go, oh, also it's sober October. Yeah. <sighs> I take part in this thing with my friends. <laughs> So I also <laughs> won't be drinking any alcohol. He's like, whatever, man. Nerd. So we get in. I pay our entry fees. We sit down. It's a nice, it's like a little lounge area like yeah. this. There's really? like and maybe three or four women at the bar. I'm yeah. kind of like, it's dark and I'm trying to like What kind gauge. of ladies? Like what nationality? There's a, oh, there's a mix. Kind of international. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it could be. I, I didn't. I, well, here's the thing. Uh, we sat down. They asked if we want a drink. I thought I, I could have maybe a couple drinks here. You know, I'm about to fuck a prostitute. Mm. Uh, so I thought maybe I'd get a couple drinks in me. Right away, they're up your ass. Like, which one do you want to fuck? Mm. Kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. TikTok, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Time well, first money. of all, the guy comes over and he's like, do you want whiskey, beer? And, you know, he chooses his drink. And then he's like, you sure you don't want it like a whiskey? And I go, but do, do you have Diet Coke? <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it's sober October. <laughs> he's like he he looked he's like you really don't want to drink yeah I go, 
Mm -mm. Nerd. So Nerd. he brings over the drink. He's getting on him. He's up my ass about it. So who do you like, like? Who do you like? All right. Who do you? I'm asking Tom because I can't really tell from far away. You know. I'm like, and the pr worst help part me out here for me is like, I was like, all right. I go because yeah, he's vi vision wise too. He can't yeah. Is it right. dark in there? Yeah. Kinda, yeah. It's kind of dark. It's, it's like, like purple. Like, yeah. You know. <laughs> it's purple. Smoke machine. So yeah, I see. Weird. I go. I lean over. I go. I think the one on the far left is the best looking one. Right, because there's like one who looks like I mean, there's one who's like distinctly I would say Latin looking, one like dirty blonde. There's one across the room. She was just regular blonde, but yeah, dirty. So. And then, <laughs> and then there's this one who looks Selfie like tan. Blonde. She looks like a porno chick. Right? Yeah, yeah, they all look like kind of porno. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, this is I think of what's in the room. This is the the best right. shot. So eventually like she comes over and she's like hi and you know i have to like like a child be like do you want to come over and sit <laughs> with us or whatever like or i told the guy actually right yeah i'm like can you have her come over <laughs> he's yeah. like all right and she's like hello how are you she was italian the one that we selected <laughs> now here's keep in mind <laughs> from this, milan God. they're all they're not allowed to say anything to you right they can't solicit but they sit and then what happens is like you know they'll just go like they'll just turn and just look you at from? you like at, from the bar and then they kind of turn back after their basic interaction and the then the decision to go up um i am now left sitting with my diet coke <laughs> and the four the, the the four or five other girls in the room oh. and and the guy comes over and he's like are you sure you don't want me to bring one over i go yeah could you tell them that like <laughs> i don't think they're ugly <laughs> Like, because I feel impolite, you yeah. know, I'm like, yeah, so you're insulting these ladies. Yeah. yeah, And I don't want Have to some respect. Tom. I don't want to insult them. They're nice ladies. Yeah. I go, I'm just, I'm just not doing this. And he's like, oh, don't worry about it. So he, he's not going to convey the message, obviously, because they, in their mind, they're like, there's always a, a shot. There's always an yeah. opportunity to, to make more money. And so constantly you can see that they're all like different ones will turn. <laughs> then they start to like look at each other and they're like. What's, what's up with this? the fact? Oh, it's yeah, like, like no. it's, what's this guy's deal? Yeah, and then I'm like, you know, I'm on my phone, and the whole time I just want to be like, I just, I'm not. Could you just know that? And I just keep looking gay, at, gay. looking at my dudes. phone. Yeah, I have another Diet Coke. By the yeah, way. yeah, <laughs> yeah. But then what am I sending you? Because you're texting. Yeah, me. this is hilarious. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm in the sex club. Josh is upstairs <gasps> uh, with an Italian prostitute, <laughs> which we'll get to the details of in a moment. And she's like, she's like, don't, you're not going to fuck any hookers. And I was like, no. And then she starts texting me pictures of our kids. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, don't forget about us, dad. Don't ruin what we have. I love you, daddy. I love you, dad. Miss you, dad. And if I recall, that was your same strategy when Tom met Throatzilla. That's as well. right. <laughs> That's right. Very effective, yeah. though. Yeah. He didn't did. get a blowjob yep. that day, did he? And no, like, he I mean, the pictures kept coming. It was like. <laughs> Each of my kids like smiling and like they're like, we miss you, dad. <laughs> so I fucking, by the way, it felt like, of course, when I'm sitting there with my phone, also, you know how you feel when your battery's dying. So like I wanted to just get lost and stuff, but I see my batteries like at oh, sure, 16%. Yeah. I'm like, God damn it. So we're texting. I'm like, I'll update you when I know something. I'm just waiting. You're <laughs> up there. And then I can't like, there's no TV. Like you can't. There's Zone nowhere out. to look other yeah. than your phone. Other time. than your phone or at the prostitutes <laughs> who you're like, no thanks. Yeah. So it finally, you know, you finally come down and I'll let you take over on what was oh, it like up there. Oh, my God. With, oh, yeah. Uh, Luciana. Yeah. She was from Milan. I found out. I forget what her name was. Luciana? It was like Lex. Mm. Like wow. Lisa or something. Yeah. I forgot what her name was. But um, yeah, she took me upstairs. We picked her and we went upstairs. And she was, of course, like very porno-y, very hot. Wait, what's the room Fake like? Tits. So the room is like just a small European room. There's a giant jacuzzi in it Ugh. and a bed. And she starts drawing the bath for the jacuzzi. Ugh. And I told her, I'm like, you're not going to need that. I'm not going in the fucking jacuzzi. Dirty, yeah. Not because of it's dirty. I'm like, what am I? I'm not, I'm not going to just like wear. I, I thought about it first. I'm like, I didn't bring my suit. But then again, you know. <laughs> really need that but then do but, you want to get like covered in chlorine and wet right 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 like i'm not trying to and, like yeah how are we gonna fuck in a jacuzzi by the way understand? before you go any further i've paid now <laughs> hundreds of dollars and i'm like because I, I know that like there might be the uh option for like 
something more. So I just grab what I have, which is like another 80 or and I'm like, here in case oh, you, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you can to, to get more yeah time. yeah, yeah like, he passed me and i'm like okay cool i go yeah like if there's any option like just take it here's 80 bucks you know so it was like <laughs> i don't know if you want me to uh, yeah go expose ahead. the details of the finances just but tell she was like it's 300 euro for just sex blow job the nitty-gritty if you will and then it's 200 more if you want to like have like kissing and licking, whatever the fuck that means. Just me, me basically more uh, stuff, like Intimate. where I can put my mouth on her, basically. Wow. Maybe her tits or whatever. But I couldn't do like very much of anything to her, and it was just straight up beige and sex for three hundred. And really? I had that because I, but I gave, he gave you me the eighty. So I, I gave go, you the eighty because I was. I like, go. What does this get me? She's like nothing. <laughs> so. But I know why it was. I gave you the eighty because we I thought was, it could be like uh, maybe no uncovered. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah which was not the case. That was even. That How was much like, would to get an uncondomed? I didn't job? get to that level because I only had eighty. Right. So she's like, "We're not even gonna have that fucking conversation. Yeah, you need yeah. it right Jesus. now." Jesus. Yeah. By the way, if so, there had been an ATM there, I'd have been like, "Here it is." <laughs> yeah. But so it was definitely, which looking back is probably the best thing to have protection or whatever. But uh, mm. <laughs> they really go kind of ham on that thing. Like she's swabs your dick down with like an alcohol swab or something like what some sort of like uh cloroxy type wipe you know just like and then you know she puts the condom on you and then she blows you over the condom which is like you know what are we doing here you know yeah. what i mean it's like nothing so i told tom going into it i'm like i don't even know if i'm gonna get an erection from this because right. of all the like red tape involved with it you know so right away, though, it feels clinical. Yeah, exactly. It felt like I my doctor was your, giving yeah. me a blowjob, yeah. essentially, over a condom. You and know? the blowjob just mm. felt very... Like, I was able to, like, get going during that. I was like, okay, you know, I'm, I got hard during the blowjob. And she was doing her whole, like, mm thing, you know, and it's like, all right, I can tell she's not really into it, you know, but yeah. she's, like, pretending. And then, uh, so then it's like, she's like, do you want me to get on top? And I'm like, sure. And... Then all of a sudden it's like she pulls out this fucking lube and she's like, you know, lubing up the condom and then she lubes up her pussy and then she like gets on top of it. By then I'm like, all right, we had sex for like a few minutes and then I was like done with it. You know what I'm saying? Like my dick just was like, wah, wah, wah. Oh, really? Yeah, and I just couldn't because I couldn't do anything I wanted to do except lay there and essentially get fucked. And uh, like you couldn't touch her. You I could touch her, but I could we couldn't like do anything else. Like I couldn't like uh, put my mouth anywhere. Or, yeah. Like you couldn't like actually get into it. Yeah. yeah get you know into yeah. sex. That's a bummer. And then like I caught her like looking out the window at one point. I'm like, <gasps> all right. <laughs> oh, my God. That's depressing. Because it's like, well, the thing about it is like it's not for <laughs> she's just at work. You know I what know. I mean? Yeah. That's what I realized. I'm like what I realized was like the things I enjoy about sex are pleasing the woman and like having them enjoy their time yeah of course. and uh there's none of that well, on the table for that this. reminds me of the uh there was like that hbo documentary on uh porn mm -hmm. you know that they put out a few years ago and that there was that one part when they're they're talking to i forget somebody who was like yeah you know sometimes you're just thinking about i gotta pay my bills <laughs> i gotta i got oh, right. the dog this morning it's like anybody else yeah. at work they're like yeah. shit you know i mean do i leave the stove on or whatever you yeah. know so I, I got that vibe from her and I was just like, mm. all right. And then she like tried to like jerk me off for a little while and it just wasn't happening. And then she's like, so you're from Los Angeles. Uh, the homeless problem is so out of control there. And she started talking about politics while we were like naked for oh. 15 they, minutes. They sat across from each other and had a political conversation. Wait a yeah. minute. But doesn't she want to get you out of there so she can get the next no, she got, on? She's, yeah. she's booked for an hour. Oh, you so, you have, so she has an yeah. hour with you. She maybe yeah. just chat. She's blocked off. Yeah. And then like it got to be about the 45 minute mark. And I was like, all right, where's my underwear? Let's get yeah. out of here, you know? And did you feel like you had to say something to her why you couldn't really? Yes, I apologized to her, and then she was like, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't give a fuck about Yeah, you, then yeah. I realized that, and it was kind of freeing, but also, yeah. like, pathetic, you know what I'm saying? But it yeah. was like, I even was like, can I finger you? And she was like, on the outside, I was like, that's fucking stupid, you know? So On the outside, yeah. She yeah. doesn't want your, yeah, your nasty fingers in her. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, all of it. I couldn't do anything to her, really. You know, that's like, terrible. I didn't. I wasn't aware that you couldn't really. Like again, for the <sighs> two hundred bucks, it probably could have became more. But it's like she's never gonna enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? She, yeah. I'm just like number six tonight or something. You know what I mean? So, Oof. I realized in that moment that it's like the things that I enjoy about sex have nothing to do with that. It's like you have to be a certain type of guy 
to get off from that, I think, you know? That's a really interesting point. Like a guy who has no interest in the woman's experience. Right. It sounds like whatsoever, like kind of a an evil piece of shit. Well, right? maybe, or I mean, just like, I, I, I don't know. That's the thing. I can't ever, I can't well, like, relate on that There's level. probably so many different facts. I think what, to me, your story and like what we've talked about with, you know, the Josh not coming thing and this experience, it sort of gave some credibility to the theory yeah. that that there's an intimacy right yeah. because in this case right? where there was literally zero, zero. i yeah. couldn't even like maintain an erection so it kind of makes you Oof. go like like i mean i don't know but I'm not an expert but it does make me feel like oh that the argument of like you needing to connect with a girlfriend yeah, 100%. is probably you no, know what i mean for sure yeah it has validity hmm. yeah so okay so that was a no go and what about this is the most exciting so yeah. wait oh, let's yeah. finish that we so we leave Amsterdam, you don't come, but we had a great time. We do a few more shows. I gotta say, all the shows were a blast. Paris blew me away, not just because of the city, but that was the show that I anticipated. I was like, that'll probably be the rough show of the mm. tour. Oh my God, it was electric. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Um, it made me then, wanna go back there and do like club weekends. Yeah, yeah, mm. it, was, it was so cool. And then we did um, the UK, which was just, outrageous right yeah London, unbelievable Amaze, manchester always. it's amazing when it's their first language too like. yeah yeah that's it's really <laughs> the but Queen's it's like there's English. like a it's like an exciting time to like they they i always feel like that when you go international especially to an english-speaking place they and they recognize how far you came there's like an extra they appreciate it they yeah. show you that like they they appreciate you made the trip so all the uk shows um Ireland and and uh, you know they were just they were just amazing. So we fly back. We do New York, which was also amazing. Mm -hmm. which you came to, um, and then uh, I came for like twenty four hours. Yeah, you were there just for, for day just and so half. I could see you after Europe. Yeah, and then um, we make it, I make it to Buffalo, mm -hmm. and this is where you get to meet up with <laughs> the winner that's right of the make josh come i can't believe this so many Finally. inquiring minds <laughs> wanted to know when it was going to happen even on this road trip people are like what's the deal with the chick from canada what's the deal i'm like well you're gonna find out you're gonna find out soon so let me ask you before we um ask one million more. percent more successful than the prostitute i'll say that <laughs> one million huh? oh well so, but uh yeah so i mean Long story, I mean, not to make the long story short, we can get into the details, but everyone wants to know, did, did it happen? And it did and it didn't. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Meaning like wow. I did come, but it was of my own uh, fruition, right. if it, you will, like it usually is, unfortunately. But, hmm. but that we got doesn't closer. mean we didn't have a great time trying Yeah, uh, a lot. Tried a lot. So this you tried a lot. So yeah, and exciting. it was a blast. I had a great time. Okay. Wow. Well, um, and you'd say that she's a strong performer. Yeah, hundred percent. She did a great job. I got to meet her. Beautiful girl. Yeah, she had so much fun at the show. She she mentioned so. And uh, very outgoing, very um, yes. personable. Well, uh, I'd like to hear her side of this. Yeah, let's see what she okay. has. To this say. is like love connection back in the day. Hey Chuck, how'd the date go? And right. Then you this get is the like a recap. On. Yeah. Uh, whatever. It's like the end of a lemon date. Yeah. Do you mind if I go ahead and... No, touch oh, it. Do it. Jackie's Let's see. her name. Let's see what happens. Yes, Jack. Jackie. Let's see. She was very attractive in her video. Now, when she when you saw her in person... She was exact. She didn't have any uh, filters or anything like oh, that. Wow. She was... She was just that good looking. Yeah, no false advertising. Great. Let's see. Hello? Jackie? <laughs> yes? It's Tom Segura. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. I'm here with Christina. Hi, Jackie. Hi. I'm I really just thought about this. I was like, holy shit, I'm going to get a song to Christina. Aww, hey, how are you? Good. We're so <laughs> excited. <laughs> we're so excited to talk to you. Yeah, we're so excited. Uh, I'm sure the audience is super excited. You were so, I, it was lovely to meet you and you were obviously so gracious in your offer when you sent in your video that you would meet up with Josh. And now, you know, <laughs> the people are dying to know, what was it like? What was it like being with Josh Potter? Oh, wow. Um, well, it was lovely. <laughs> I feel like wow. no matter what I say, it's gonna sound uh, 
Um, but yeah, no, it was awesome. I am uh, fully in love with Josh Potter. So. Oh my <laughs> god! Wow! What? What? That's aggressive. I sound yeah. like the guy from you. Um, wow! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it was sick. It was fun. Wait, well, hold on. Well, let's start from the beginning. So. You fly to what Buffalo? To Buffalo, yeah. And does Josh meet you at the airport? How do you? Or what is that? Uh, yeah, it was super sweet. He had a sign. Um, no, uh, I actually got questioned super hard at the airport oh. when I was trying to leave the country. Um, they actually had me pull up the email chain, and the title of the email chain was "Make Josh Come." <laughs> Wait a minute. Did they, um, did they point that like, were they like, what's that all about? Uh, thankfully, no, but wow. at one point he's just like, why are they calling you mommy? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, it's a joke podcast. Uh, but uh, I think he was asked, yeah, but it's all good. He let me go. <laughs> it was like, great. This is fully happening to me right now. And wait, um, and when do you first, when do you first meet Josh? I don't remember the, that detail. When did you guys actually meet up? Uh, so he came to my hotel, which was lovely. Um, so we met up by the globe in the lobby. Okay. By the, and, and he <laughs> walks in and what is do you he see wearing? Like an, yeah. Do you see like an aura behind him? Is he, is it like, you know what I mean? Like the, yeah. Like Actually, an angel no. Uh, whenever uh, I came down, I think he was like sitting somewhere. And I feel like we're both just really socially awkward. So we're just like texting, like, oh, where are you? I know you're probably like 15 feet away from me, but I'm too awkward to actually just scan the room. Uh, so then uh, we met up and went outside and promptly got high. Oh, nice. Oh, oh okay. okay. That's great. That's and great. Now, mm -hmm. Jackie, did you wear a special outfit because you were meeting Josh for the first time? What did you wear? Uh, well, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I'm a pretty big fan of lingerie, so I had a full lingerie outfit on, <laughs> and, uh, I definitely put sweatpants over it to go outside, so I think that added to it. Oh my um, god. Oh my god. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> so you're, you're wearing lingerie under your sweatpants, you guys go out outside, you get high, and is that helping you ease your nerves? Uh... Yeah, well, yeah, and honestly, just a pretty big stoner. So oh, okay, <laughs> and you see Josh it's in person. Regular person. What are your thoughts when you see him in person? Does yeah. he match up to what you've seen on YouTube? And or what did you? What are your yeah. first impressions? Of Josh? Yeah. Um, kind of like thank God, like that he's like because I don't know if we see someone online or whatever, they yeah. might look very different in person. Sure. So you're, but, uh, you're pleased. I had this weird fear that he was going to be really, really short. Because like, not that that's the worst thing in the world. But like, I am not a super short girl. So I was it's, it was going to be awkward. So but, uh, no, he showed up and we were like pretty much the same height. So I was like, oh, okay, good. Okay. So that was honestly like the worst thing I was concerned about was just that's all he was. Okay. But uh, yeah, so no, that was good. <laughs> so so uh, he meets the height requirement. He can get on the ride. And now you guys, <laughs> right. you so guys you take it upstairs. Yeah. Though? Yeah. So like how long do you spend together before you go upstairs? Uh, well, we went upstairs like fairly quickly. Um, but I mean, we also like hung out in the room for a while. Got gotcha. you. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then who, who, all right, I'm dying to know who makes the first move. Uh, it was for sure, Josh. <laughs> oh, nice. What? All right. All right. Josh, the aggressor. Now, is there alcohol too or just weed? Uh, yeah. No, well, I mean, I was drinking. I was mostly solo drinking because Josh doesn't drink much, but I kind of forced it on him a little bit. Um, but uh, a little bit of drinking, yeah. <laughs> and then what he... F I was he trying to keep my dick going. Oh, okay. Right, and then does right. he kiss you? Like, is he? does he lean in and you're like, oh my God, here it comes? No. <laughs> so I'm the worst. And I was just like super nervous. So I was saying that we should go and have a cigarette. And then I was going for my fucking sweatpants again. And uh, he just like stopped me. 
I, it was actually kind of cute. He like, grabbed me and kissed me. Mm. Nice. And Brody. were you were you right? you you were like Sat awesome? Was he a good kisser? Or is Josh a good kisser? Yes, actually. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then he grabbed your fucking hair and he's like, "Shut up!" And he, uh, no, like that. Tom. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm guessing. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so then what happens next? So you guys are Frenching, and then what? Oh, God. I'm like, uh... And then I believe we went to the bedroom. Or we were in a bedroom. Uh, I believe we went to the bed. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to... I, I, honestly, I'm like, I don't even remember. That's terrible. Um, <laughs> so you're Frenching. Is there is there uh, a lot of hand action? Are you... Did you touch his oh, okay, D at this D. point? Did you were you pleased with the D size? Did you had you? <laughs> yes, actually, because um, that's always kind of a gamble too, right? Yeah, yeah it's a big problem. <laughs> you just don't know what's yeah, in no, there. Yeah, no, and it was like everything was good. Like <laughs> it was all good. So it's you like I don't know. They all look different, and like some are a little more haggard than others. Yeah, and everything yeah. was nice and clean, and every there was no visible, you know. Herpes sores, so that's great. We're okay. <laughs> and he was clean down there. His his manscaping, he trimmed the hedges. Yes, okay, actually, good. Yeah. Now wait, let's get to the performance. Like, was he? A, was, wait, he a, was there oral? Did you do oral s- sexes on each other? <laughs> yeah, we sixty nine super hard. <laughs> um, <laughs> Did you really sixty nine? I think so. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> um. I don't know. um <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not it's fairly not like... confident with my uh, my head game, so I'm sure that I whipped that out pretty quick. Nice. Not as confident with my hand job skills. Me so too. Same, same. May have breathed through that. But but you're also, I mean, you're saying that he also is doing a pretty good job, right? You're happy with his performance? Oh yes, actually, you know what? I think that's how it started. I'm pretty sure that he actually went down on me first. Hey, like a hey. Good, good man, Josh. Nice guy. Real good nice man. guy. And yeah. uh, all right, then it t- then it comes time to actually, you know, really shove it in there. So <laughs> now you're actually doing it, and in your mind, are you like, am I am I going to get Josh to come? Like, is this going to, you know, what I mean, this is, is that, a good question. Did you have a strategy, Jackie, going into this encounter? Because you you got to be thinking like he just hasn't been with someone like me, right? That's why he hasn't come. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Uh, Actually, no. So I, I mean, your reaction to my video was honestly lovely because I have zero self-esteem. So I was like, oh, wow. But I was like, there was, I have a, an ugly girl personality. Aww. So I literally was just thinking that maybe he'd actually like, maybe we would just vibe and like, maybe you'd feel comfortable enough with me and like, then that would happen, you know? So, I mean, I feel like, I don't know, I was fairly confident in my skills, but I was hoping there was going to be some sort of, like, element of us, like, clicking. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So, okay. uh, but, uh, I mean, in conclusion, though, I feel like he should have gone with Danielle, obviously. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, so what happened? So uh, you guys are doing it, you're doing intercourse, and so what happens? Yeah. Uh. Well, <laughs> I think at a certain point, I need to take a break. So I think I went down and I had a cigarette because I'm trash. Uh, and then came back up. And then I think we had sex again. And then, <laughs> actually, I do remember this. So we had sex. And then Josh wanted to take a break because he was tired, which, you know, fair. And then we were lying beside you know. each other. And you need to, like, take five. And then all of a sudden, I just heard him, like, I, he wasn't snoring, but I could tell that he fully fell asleep. And this was, like, 3.30 in the morning. Oh, it's 3.30. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay real right. I just had a fuck I'm not going to you... yeah. wake him up. But had you, but had he come at this point, you still? No. It's 3.30 no. in the morning. You guys have been fucking this whole time? I mean, how do you just? Uh, like... I gave it my all, guys. <laughs> I mean, I tried. I, I believe you. <laughs> But and then the next morning, ask about the next okay, morning. Okay, so the next morning, go ahead. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So the next morning, uh, I, well, I don't, I don't, oh, God. 
I don't know if we had sex in the morning, but <laughs> I should know that. But um, I believe that I went down on him, and then it was a team effort, and then he came in my eye. Oh. So. <laughs> By the way, I love I don't your... know if I get maybe like a half point for that. Like, oh. <laughs> Sorry to get uh, super Partial into, the, into the details here, but are you... Ma- are you coming from a uh, vaginal entry and you're shooting for distance or are you up no, near the face? No, she's giving him a beach. Oh, oh okay, okay. And okay. then she blows him and then what stops and then you finish the rest. Mm-hmm. I see. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that was a loving assist yeah. in the yeah. industry. Partial credit. Well, partial yes. credit. Partial credit. I would say Jackie did. Yeah, you got partial credit Yeah, for that. But Jackie, as somebody who's been in the in the the out in the bush now, you've been to war with this man <laughs> and you know what his uh, struggles are. What is your assessment of why Josh has struggled to come? What is it? Oh, uh, well, I, well, I don't know. I think potentially maybe that it may be the whole intimacy thing mm. because, um, I just feel like if he was like more comfortable with somebody and like really got to know someone and like maybe have a better shot, I don't know. Or maybe just to like not worry about it. Like, I don't know. (laughs) Well, Jackie, I think, I think Tom's got something here with the intimacy because if you'll listen to the story, they effed all night faded. You guys were both uh, sounds like completely drunk and high. You faded, Uh, which means you're not (laughs) connecting. You're not really there. And it wasn't until the next morning, once you've established some kind of rapport and trust with Jackie and you weren't fully fucked up, I'm assuming you didn't wake up and get hammered again, No, that you could probably trust her enough at least to give her partial credit. Yeah, of course. So it sounds like... That is hilarious. That is very yeah. good insight. Thank you. I'm very good at this. I've been yeah. in therapy for a <laughs> and, uh, I you just know, want you to know that uh, I can come. Oh my God. I, c- I came real hard last night. <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> He did. He did. Well, Christina is a better woman than me. All right. No, yeah. I'm not. No, I'm not. But Jackie, I think that was a noble effort. And what I love most about her, thank you, her story is that she. It was so memorable for her that she's forgotten most of the encounter. Yeah. <laughs> really neat. Yep. You are very memorable. Well, thank you, Jackie. Do you think you will be making Josh come anytime in the future? Would you be down for another sesh? Oh, I mean, well, if you'll have me. <laughs> well, yeah, of this course. is like love connection, and he says yes, he's in. So we're gonna go for round two. All right, I, I want cannot <laughs> wait. Maybe we can uh, send a documentary crew next time. That'd be great. <laughs> and, and Jackie, we'll, uh, I want I want you to take copious notes because I want yeah. more details. I don't like this stoner memory of yours. Next time, I want full details. Well, what did you not get detail on? Yeah, it I felt just pretty feel detailed. Like she was to me. like, I don't remember. Yeah, we're, we're, I don't, um, <laughs> she didn't remember like the yeah, positions like, we what's were uh in. That's could you describe that vein that goes yes, from his ball bag that's up to the what i want well to ask okay. about my dick well i don't know okay. <laughs> does he, he has a good I package believe actually whenever he came in my eye that i was sucking on his balls if that's uh wow <laughs> there you go. wow How's that i gotta tell detail? you wow jackie you will expect a <laughs> merch bag <laughs> <laughs> for free because wow. you're one of the winners out there. You're a good person. A ball oh, suck. Thank you. And yeah. did you lick I'm his representing my country? Yes. You did. Yeah. You did, did you a lick job. his b hole? Oh no, my god, no. I didn't. I'm not a monster. Come on. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I didn't. <laughs> you're not a scrum master, so we won't be sending you that merch. But the rest of them, <laughs> you'll right, get. That's fair. Uh, wow. You're I lovely, Jackie. We really appreciate you. Yes. Thank your you. Your time and thanks for doing this. That you did on your own. Oh, Nobody please. pressured you into anything. <laughs> there was no money exchange for this. No, I mean, if anything, it could be a Me Too situation the opposite way. The uh, opposite oh, way. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, well, we'll be talking to you soon, Jackie. Thanks so much. Thank you, Jackie. We love you. All right. Well, thank you, Prime. All right. You're the best. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye-bye. Go Canada. That's my tribe, too. Yeah, there you go. Good for you. Oh, said and I done. feel bad that she didn't... Uh, she was like, you know, we should have had Danielle or whatever. I'm, no. No, exactly. Yeah. She did a great job. Uh, I mean, I right. think that Jackie got you. It sounds like Jackie got you, like you said, 
it's partial credit. She got you hard. She got you almost there. Do you think if she continued giving you BJ longer, maybe you could have? I don't. I, I, at, at a certain point through my extensive research, I've noticed I have to take over at some point. You Why know is that? Saying? Is it because of the grip, the firm hold, the pacing of it? Um, It just doesn't get me to that. Like I've had it uh, where... I can then continue it a little bit, and then they take back over, and then that'll happen sometimes. Well, that's but, uh, but that's good. That's a yeah, solution. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it just takes a little bit uh, work, you know. Mm. And in the morning, it was tough, you know. It was the morning. It's only going to go so long, you know. Yeah. As, as we said, it was already kind of a marathon session. I can't. It was it amazing, is. man. Um, oh, and also just to recap, you know, to put an end to all this too. We then got on a bus. We did Charlotte, Pensacola, Lake Charles. Oh, my gosh. And guys. Austin. Yeah, how sick uh, of me are you? <laughs> uh, no, it was great, man. And the shows were amazing. And you absolutely set me up so well at the special taping. So thank oh, you thank for that. You. You know? That was an honor. Thanks for yeah. letting me do that. It was man. awesome. It was and, the, and the tapings were, were wild. So fun. Yeah, I mean, thanks for showing me the fucking world. No. It was wild. It was a awesome. fucking world in like a 10 days. Yeah, yeah, man. It's crazy. Um, I know. I was reading your dates while you were gone, and every time I'd be like, I can't believe my husband's doing all this shit right now. I know. I'm I can't so believe grateful. we got... I, t I tried to take that day by day because it was so overwhelming. Yeah. But when we finished uh, the Late Show taping in Austin Saturday night, I was like... Oh, oh yeah. You could tell it was like a collapse. demon left your body. You were like... Yeah. Oh. yeah. It was great. And that show was epic. I and think. it was so much fun the next night, too, because it yeah. was like so free after yeah. the taping. There was like no skin in the game. Almost, yeah, you know? it was really. And those shows were some of the they best. Dope. Um, all right. Real quick. Uh, some dates coming up. You can see your boy. I will be in Melbourne, November 29th. Uh, That's Miami, Florida, not Marshall, sorry, yeah. Mel Melbourne, Florida. Maxwell King Center for the Performing Arts. The 30th in Miami actually uh, sold out the Olympia Theater. Uh, 12.5, I'm in Erie at the Warner Theater. Columbus, got two shows at the Palace. Grand Rapids is all sold out at the uh, at Monroe Live. I'm going to be in your home country. I will be at the Coliseum at Caesars in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, December 8th. And then I do not leave again until we go to Hapa'i. <laughs> Uh, December 28th and 29th, one show in Honolulu, one show in Maui. Oh, Kalua um, Lua Lua? Yeah, How do you say that? That's right. Kalua Lua Lua. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in the new year, uh, I go to Australia. It's all sold out. There are still a few tickets available in Auckland, New Zealand at Bruce Mason Center Theater. And then I have a number of shows next year at the Terry Fator Theater in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the Mirage. I'm very excited about it. Those tickets for the March and May shows are on sale now. I'll be announcing more 2020 dates soon, but that's it for now. They're at tomsecura.com slash tour. Gene? Gene, for the rest of 2020, my Portland and Seattle is sold out. Thank you for everybody who bought tickets. I'll see you very soon. Flappers, I'm doing a residency every Thursday in the YooHoo room. Josh Potter's going to be on these through the month of December now and November. And then 2020, I start kicking off the Ride or Die Tour continues. January 9th through 11th, Austin, Texas at Cap City Comedy Club. January 30th through February 1st. Houston Improv, February 14th and 15th, Tampa Improv. And then that make good on the October 25th date that I was vomiting is now March 7th. So all tickets will be honored if you bought tickets to October 25th uh, on March 7th. March 13th and 14th, Miami, Florida. And then the Addison Improv in Dallas. Jew Dork Titties, April 3rd through 4th. Des Moines, Iowa in late April at the Funny Bone. And then... Stand up live in Phoenix, June 12th and 13th. I'm trying to see the dates behind the camera. Christina P online for tickets. Follow me on the gram at the Christina P. And Josh? Oh, uh, and uh, for me in 2020, I'm going to be coming to the Dead Crow Comedy Club and the Comedy Connection in uh, in uh, Rhode Island. The Dead Crow is in Wilmington, North Carolina. Those aren't on sale yet. But January 2nd through 4th, Laugh Boston is on sale. And uh, this week, Saturday, I'm going to be in Baltimore at uh, Jimmy's Famous Seafood, the place Sickler goes all the time. Uh, so get those tickets on their website right now. That's happening uh, this weekend. And links can all, you can all go to Josh Potter's uh, uh, Twitter page. They're all up there, okay. right there on my profile. Great. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. 
Bye. See you next week. Love you, Jeans. Bye, Jean. We ain't drinking no pool water over here. Nothing but that glacier, you feel me? Uh-huh. Dead ass. <laughs> water, water, water. What's the problem? Why are you so thirsty? Why are you dehydrated? Gallons, I drink 30. Tell me where's your water? Tell me where's your water? Call me hydro. Spring water only, you're so viral. Super H, you know. I've been on the road. All these bottles in a row. Got sources on the low. Saying you ain't got the flow. Swimming laps around you, swimming laps around you. With all the sippage that I consume, if you're trying to be, if you're trying to be the water champ, trying to be the water champ. You better do it like I do. Do. I do. Where's your water? Where's your water? Where's your water? Is you drinking water? I've been sipping. You need Fiji. I'm putting it wide, just like me. Got a love for the crew at CDOG. Send a rescue boat for those hating on me. Just finished a 12 pack waiting for my lunch. Intake crazy hitting with a sky punch. You're my flower, but girl, you must be tripping if you think that I ain't sipping. If you wanna have something sweet, don't even look at me. All I got is they shoe on me. Yeah, yeah. All day they shoe on me. Water, water. Water, 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 Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more, you can click on any of these videos in this general area. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps feed our cats. Don't have any cats.